and we're back to learning GIMP. Someone asked me to make a video about clipping masks in GIMP and I can assume where that question is coming from because in Photoshop we have an option where we can clip for example this image to a shape. Let us create a shape on a new layer right here. Click on the plus sign, make it transparent. I'll call it shape. And I'll put this layer to top for now. So it's on top of our image. I use a selection tool left click drag, use the paint bucket tool, left click on it, it's black now. So now we just have a shape that we're going to use. I press shift ctrl a to deselect and now if we put the image on top like this, there's an easy option in Photoshop where you right click and then set a clipping mask which is going to clip the image to the object, in our case this ellipse. But this function doesn't exist in GIMP. In GIMP we have to do it differently. But first let me make the image invisible and then I right click on the shape layer right here. Afterwards I use alpha to selection which is going to select the shape. Let me make the image visible again and now I right click here and use add layer mask. Now set it to selection and click on add. Shift ctrl a to deselect and now our image has a layer mask that looks like the shape that we have and this is how you can achieve somewhat of the same effect. It works on shapes and also on text. So let me create a text just to show you this. I delete the layer mask here, right click delete. Shape is invisible. I click on it. Use the type tool, left click on your canvas, type in some text, press Ctrl A, adjust the font and the size. And I use the move tool to put it somewhat in center. Now I want to clip the image to my text. So right click on the text, alpha to selection, which is going to select the outlines of the text. Make the image visible again, right click add layer mask. Make sure selection is active and then click on add to confirm. Shift Ctrl A to deselect and now the image is inside of the text. So yet again, clipping or a clipping mask function doesn't really exist in GIMP, but we can achieve somewhat of the same effect by using this alpha to selection and then adding a layer mask. I hope this video answered your question. If not, let me know in the comments below. In any case, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.